Hello again. It seems that uh, this is Miss Adventures, your selfie whisper. Take two. I think I pressed the wrong button and I turned it off. Ah! So, anywho, I'm broken down. This is me broken down. Uh, so, what's happening? Let me show you what's happening. So, you hear that? That is the RV giving me the finger. <laughs> um, so it won't start. And, uh, so, uh, it's the starter. Uh, I'm learning. So the plan is to disconnect the battery. And then, and this is my tools. Uh, and then, come in here. Because you can't get to the starter from the the front this is the dog house when they ask you about the dog house this is it and I have to take it out and move stuff and then this is what a starter looks like so I'm gonna look for something similar and uh, disconnect the wire and take it out put in the new one like the old one was in using the same holes and then reconnect the wire and then reconnect the uh, the battery and hope it starts uh, total cost uh, CJ and RV who I had called in another video CJ travel uh, went to pick it up for me and brought it over it was like $94 and then if I bring back the old one, I get $10 back. So it'll be $84. Um, and uh, the, uh, uh, the that's about the price. You know, maybe $10 difference elsewhere, whatever. But it was the last one and she picked it up and, you know. Uh, and so what happens is that... Uh, hopefully that'll solve it now my a few years ago uh, my daughter had a, a breakdown at a gas station and that's the weird thing it's like you'll drive and park it and then it just won't start anymore that was the last time you never know when the last time is the last time so uh, what's gonna happen is that uh, well in her case she just called CAA. They towed it to a mechanic shop. She didn't listen to me. Uh, and uh, because I was in the vehicle when it happened, I said, that's your starter. And she said, you know, she just thought I would know. And uh, so the mechanic told her it was the starter. But because she did not buy her part and negotiate the labor, uh, they quoted her $800. And I don't know if after taxes and fees and whatever, um, it might have been closer to a thousand. So I paid five hundred dollars for this RV. So my goal is to spend less than what I paid for it. Um, so this is the low low budget show. And uh, so if I could do this for under a hundred dollars, great. However, um, if I had more time and planning, or it was something I couldn't do, I'm a, I do web design. Um, and so I'll find a mechanic shop that needs a website, offer to barter, and then tow it there. And then they could just do what they need to do. Occasionally, it doesn't work and I get ripped off. And then the website for the next year says I've been scammed. Um, but 
Um, I've had three really fabulous barters, and so it, it works well. Alrighty, let's do this. This is uh, Misadventures, your selfie whisperer. Subscribe!